the fake outrage towards Xbox has reached a point that it's just plain exposing the hypocrisy of many gamers. Today alone, um, we learned that Xbox, Microsoft has stopped production of the Xbox One X and the digital edition. And the same people who were just complaining last week that, oh, Xbox games being playable on old console means it's going to be held back. Why would I buy an Xbox Series X? Or are, are now crying with this fake outrage of, oh, Xbox is forcing people to upgrade. They're going to make you pay $500. Wow, look at look at how anti-consumer Xbox is. Yeah, your reading comprehension or thought process can't be that that stupid. Um, because it just takes basic common sense to know when any company that makes hardware is releasing a new one, they're usually stopping the stopping the older one. Apple does it. Samsung do, does it. Somehow it's an issue when Microsoft does it, even even when it contradicts your own old fake outrage. And also, let's let's add some perspective here. Yes, the PS4 sold incredibly well, but there are 90 million Xbox Live users. S approximately 72% of them are on the Xbox One. So that means that there are there are little under 65 million Xbox One users owners on Xbox Live. So you see where I'm getting at here. You see why discontinuing old console for the new one isn't that big of a deal. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so that fake outrage over over games being playable on current consoles versus new next gen is also stupid and hypocritical because back in 2017 nobody was confused when Zelda was playable on the Wii U and the Switch. I don't suffer from short term memories loss, y'all. I remember what happened just a few years ago. When the Switch came out, the Switch, the console that is Stuck in 2006 in turn of, terms of online features that um, that that can't run that won't be able to run any next gen games unless it's severely compromised. While 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 gaming while Xbox is pushing 4K 60 frames per second in the case case of games like Gears 5 120 frames per second, Nintendo is going to be hand held held something that that. You could technically do on Stadia, Google Stadia, and you'll be doing on xCloud. Transitioning over, so 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 stop with that fake outrage. Transitioning over to xCloud, it was announced that for no extra charge starting in September, xCloud will be part of X, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Ultimate, I, I think it's worth it because you get Game pa uh, Xbox and PC versions of Ultimate, Xbox Live, You'll now be getting uh, xCloud, and you get things like the Ultimate Editions of first-party games. And, you know, those Ultimate Editions, they could run up to, like, $100. So, to me, it's worth it. Um, and then there's the fake outrage of that of, oh, so Microsoft said that, that they're adding xCloud for free to Game Pass. But Game Pass Ultimate is $15. That's still a paywall. Yeah, your lying, poor read, com reading comprehension knows it. You know it said it's adding it for no additional cost. Uh, the, so stop that fake outrage. <clears throat> then there's the fake outrage about so Xbox backwards compatible games will be playable on Xbox One. Except for the Kinect games, they're going to find a way to make it usable for with controllers. So the fake outrage from the same people who... 
there. A Xbox could make games free and you would be upset. And I know this because you were doing the fake outrage with the when 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 joining uh Game Pass was one dollar. Oh, why would I pay one dollar for games? Uh, you know, gamers gamers were legit mad because they could affordably afford games. That that's how silly that's how silly the the fake outrage is towards Xbox. You know, so I mean, hey, it, and 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 it really does highlight how how much people don't like change. As a comic book fan, I know this all too well. They say they want different stories and new stories, but the second a writer does something different, comic fans would get outraged and then they go back to the status quo or they go back to complaining about that character. And gaming is starting to fall into that same trap where I keep seeing gamers complain and complain and complain. Microsoft is giving y'all what you want. And then you, that's that 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 pisses you off. I don't get it. I mean, if you don't like something, you don't have to play. It's it is literally that simple. Um and and let me also clarify I this isn't about people who have a differing opinion. Um I I, I do want to clarify that we're not all going to like the same things. This is directed towards all the gamers out there who keep complaining about something they claim to hate every day, all day. It's to the point, like, and, and here's one that really didn't make sense. I saw Pete, so next week is Xbox Game Show, uh, Showcase event, right? And they said, hey, it's going to be all games, focus on games, no hardware, anything. And I saw people complaining, uh, of course, uh, they're like, oh, it's going to be games, games, games. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, Microsoft, you're showing games, games, games. You know, you're, you're upset because a game show is showing games. <laughs> you know, the, the hypocrisy, man. Yeah, a lot of y'all are just, y'all are so badly exposed that it's gone from frustrating to just funny and sad. And it, 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 it's it's like, it is like, they'll, you'll infect my timeline and my recommendations with this stuff, man. And it's, 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 it's always just so sad, especially when bigger YouTubers and, and please these people with like 20,000 subscribers, they're not big. I'm talking about the big boys. It's 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 even worse when they push stuff like that. Because it's like, I, I know your reading comprehension isn't that bad. It can't be. Nobody... It, that that That's why I think it's lying and fake outrage. Because nobody could see stuff like Game Pass. And their logical conclusion is, that's bad for me. It's not taking away your ability to buy games. In fact, every game on Game Pass is on, on sale at a discount. Or, or the ability to play. The, this one really pisses people off. And that's the, the definite, the way, the change exclusives I've made this gen. That one pisses people off the most. Because for some reason, gamers are stuck in 2006 where you must buy this one specific box to play this game. And and Microsoft's like, uh just play if you, if you got a phone and you want a game, play it there. If you got an Xbox, play it there. If you got a PC, play it there. And that one, that one to this day pisses people off the most. I don't know why. Um, you know, it's like people playing a game on other devices isn't. How is that bad? Why is it so? And why does and I? Why does that piss you off so much? Play if you got the damn PlayStation. Enjoy the damn PlayStation. Do you think someone playing Horizon on PlayStation is really killing the brand or something? You can't be that insecure to where your own your favorite gaming console. Yeah, so uh, I think I got my point across, man. The fake outrage has really exposed the, the hypocrisy towards people who 
seem to hate Xbox. And let me give a shout out to Sega Man 101, the new legal, and E Rock X. They were all the influence for this video. They all made excellent videos on the topic, and I and I feel like I have a good differing aspect to add to it. Hopefully, hopefully, it is, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.